April. He says his son was doing his job going through these double doors here at Kroger, helping an elderly woman with her groceries when the shots rang out. He doesn't want to use their names because he says they're still processing everything that happened. He's going out the door. And what he remembers is hearing pop sounds. This man says his 26 year old son had about an hour left on his shift when the shooting started. His son, who's worked at this Kroger for two years, was helping an elderly woman get her groceries to her car. At first, he thought those pops were from balloons, and then he saw the shooter. At the moment, uh, he's, he realizes there's somebody here with a gun. The shooter wheels and sees him and shoots. He says his son got hit in the left thigh and the shooter moved on, but he's convinced suspect Ook Tang was looking specifically for Kroger employees. My guess is the shooter was then saw the, the Kroger outfit, you go Kroger thing, uh, and shot for that reason because the, there's, a, there's an elderly woman and him and shot clearly him. He says his son called from the ambulance. There's a shooter in the store and I've been shot and I'm about to be taken to the emergency room. They took him to Baptist Hospital in Collierville, where he was treated and released. From what I've heard, he probably has the least damage of everybody who got hit because it didn't hit any bone, it didn't tear up any veins, it just went through, clean shot. So he's very fortunate. He knows they're luckier than most and says he's grateful for the other Kroger employees who stepped in to save others. And he says his son is home right now recovering. He's not sure whether he will ever be able to return here to work. Officials again tell us today 10 of the 15 shooting victims were Kroger employees. Reporting live in Collierville, Stacey Jacobson, WREG News Channel 3.